Hello there. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, how to package your game to publish it on Google Play Store. Because as you know, you um, can't upload like um, APK and OBB files anymore. And the file has to be AAB, which um, they say it's uh, better because at the end of the day, the, uh, the customer, on the other hand, will download less megabytes, which is a win-win for both of us. Um, so let's get started. You have your project, everything's perfect. You want to just go package your game. Um, just wait there a little bit. You might want to go ahead and change some stuff first. So go to edit, plugins, and type in Google Pad. Make sure this one's enabled. And if it's not, please enable it and restart the editor. Then go into the edit project settings and then come all the way down to plugins, Google pad and enable plugin and only shipping. All of them must be enabled. Otherwise you'll get um, AAB files that are not including the data inside them, which I mean, if you uh, upload them into Google Play Store, there will be nothing to show. Um, so make sure these are enabled then go ahead in the packaging section and make sure that generate chunks are enabled this is important then you have to come down we are not doing anything with this stuff you can come all the way down so if you are not seeing this stuff you um you have you'll probably have something called advanced um somewhere around here just click on that it will expand everything out and then you'll have all the other options um to have a uh, more reduced package size you should go ahead and check this one out cook only maps and then come uh, down here list of maps to include in a package build you have to add all the maps that you are using inside the game into this section here if you're using one map just add that one if you're using 30 maps add all of them together in here this way to make sure that the builder is not um, creating a lot of unused assets it's not adding a lot of unused assets into the final package which will uh, which will uh, save a lot of size for you so it, it can easily reduce something like 1.5 gigabyte to something like 400 megabytes i've seen it and then uh, all the way down here build configuration must be uh, set to shipping um, this is not important but full rebuild should be always checked and for distribution if you are going to upload your project to Google Play so this one must be checked then you'll come all the way down to Android and then in the Android package name you have com dot your company's name dot uh, your project's name so make sure to change that one then if you have a specific uh, application name type it here the minimum stick sticky version is by default set to 26 i then change it because i'm using vulcan and um under 26 will probably most probably not be able to support vulcan so i didn't change it you can go ahead all the way down to probably something like 19. but target sticky version must be set to 33 or above i don't know if newer versions of the RNG will support more than 33 I'm not really sure but 33 it is make sure that package game data inside that APK is disabled if you are um, testing your project on your phone this one should be enabled because this way you can easily install the project on your phone but when you are uploading the game this one is disabled so at this time we can't have more than one gigabyte of uh, AAB files in Google Play so if we are going to do that we have to go ahead and create chunks by ourselves 
uh, and that will be something you should look into it. You can just go ahead and um, type in generate chunks for Android in Unreal Engine 5 and you will get the uh, official documentation for it. But right now, for that reason that uh, my project is not over one gigabyte or two gigabytes, this one is specifically for two gigabytes. It won't let the project to be more than two gigabytes. I checked this one out. If the project is going to go over two gigabytes, it will stop the builder and it will just give me the error that the project's uh, size is massive. These two should be enabled just to uh, make your lives easier. Uh, I've already talked about this in another video, but these three should be enabled. Uh, maximum supported aspect radius should be more than something like 2.5. I've found that 2.8 works best. So maybe you should go that way as well. Um, generate bund bundle AAB is enabled. This is uh, a must because we are uploading the project to Play Store. This one's enabled. And then this is related to rendering. I'm using Vulkan only. Uh, I can just go ahead and disable this because I'm using Vulkan desktop. I don't want people that are um, using ES 3.2 or 1 be able to download my game because the graphics will be super different than what I expect them to see. But anyway, if you are not using Vulkan or Vulkan desktop, you can just disable these two and just use the default ES 3.2. I'm not using um, three uh, 32 bit devices and I don't know if you are able to support them anymore. These are pretty, pretty old devices. I, I'm not even sure you if I will work on them. So I don't really care about that part. And then you have the distribution signing, which um, you have this one here. I don't know if that works. But if it doesn't work, just go ahead and um, type in distribution signing for uh, UE5. And there's a document, uh, official documentation about it that you can just go ahead and type a lot of stuff. I will make a new, I mean, I had created a video for it in Engine 4, but everything's changed in UE5. So I have to go ahead and create a new one. Um, but it's super easy. You can just go ahead and create what you want. I'm not using Google Play services, but if you are using that, you have to configure it and you have to use uh, enable play support and um, copy and paste the Google uh, Games app ID. It's not that difficult. I'll probably create a video on that as well. Uh, and then these are the icons that you have to go ahead and change them as you can. If you ho hover your mouse on it, the dimensions are 96 by 96, uh, 72 by 72, 48 by 48, 36 by 36, 48 by 48. So you have to just go ahead and create some icons for yourself in Photoshop, make sure that the, the dimensions are correct, and make sure that you are changing the uh, background images that you want. I'm not, I don't want these images to be changed. I'm not even using them. So I have changed these two for myself. Um, and make sure this ones you have accepted the SDK license as well. This is really important. I mean, if you haven't, it will just hit the error in your face and you will uh, know it by the end of, end of the day. This is something strange, but I've seen it happen. Uh, I've seen it in a project that these two were checked and uh, the project wouldn't even um, open on a lot of devices. So just don't use them at, as long as you don't know what you're doing. Just don't use them. If you are uh, pretty confident about what you do, then you are free to do whatever you want. But uh, please note that this will create some headaches for you in the future. In the Android uh, SDK, make sure these are set up. In Unreal Engine 5.1, we are using NDK 25 and the SDK, uh, the Android Studio should be the version Android Studio 4 and JDK is, if I'm not mistaken, 8U301. So make sure you download them all. And uh, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about this. So you can just go ahead and uh, research about it if you don't know how to do it. But this is really, really important. If you aren't, 
if you haven't set this up you uh, are not even able to test the game on your own phone um, and that's pretty much it if you've done everything correctly you should be able to come here in the platforms Android I'm using Vulkan so I have to go ahead and uh, use ASTC but if you are using the uh, the default ES 3.2 you can just go ahead and use Android ES ETC 2 and the default project settings it's set to shipping and for distribution so I'm, I'm not uh, I'm going to be using this one and Android ASTC oh for for the sake of this video I forgot to show you that uh, when you are setting these things up you have to type your password here I just deleted it because I'm uh, I'm capturing a video and I don't want everyone to see my password uh, it's just because of that but you have to um, type in the password you created in here without it it won't even um, package a pro uh, the package a project then you have to go ahead and just choose select this one and choose a destination and then you're good to go um, this was pretty much it and I hope it helps someone it helps you um, and if it did help, please hit that like button and have a great day.